Hello and welcome to Cisco.net channel. In our earlier video, we saw installation and overview for Cisco Cloud Security App for Splunk. In today's video, we will talk about Cisco Cloud Security Add-on for Splunk, together with Yaron Kaspi, API Product Manager at Cisco. Hi, Yaron. Hi, Alexei. Thanks for having me. And like you mentioned, we're going to install and we're going to do the basic configuration for the Cisco Cloud Security Add-on for Splunk, which essentially brings in your uh, logs, your event logs from S3, providing, of course, that uh, Cisco Secure Access or Cisco Umbrella are sending them there. So let's start with that. I'm just going to share my screen real quick. All right. So in order to uh, send your logs to S3, you basically have two options. One option is to use your own S3, another option to use the Cisco Managed Bucket. Um, both of them are configured in admin and log management. Um, what you're seeing right here is uh, I'm sending it to a Cisco managed bucket. Um, a few kind of key things to note here. Um, you get to choose if you want to send your admin audit logs and if you want the, the queries as well. But if you do want automatic uh, extraction for new fields being introduced, really important to include the headers. OK, in that export. Um, once you hit that, and you can see here, you can generate, regenerate your keys, your credentials for this at any time. Uh, you'll get your data path. You'll get your, credential, uh, your credentials themselves. OK, we're going to use those when we go to the next step. I'm now shifting to Splunk. And in Splunk, when looking for apps, I'm going to put in Cisco Cloud Security. Um, Note, by the way, that I'm on Splunk Cloud, but this, the, both the Cisco Cloud Security app for Splunk and the Cisco Cloud Security add-on for Splunk, which we'll install in a moment, they both work with Splunk Cloud and Splunk Enterprise. So I have to put in my uh, credentials for Splunk Base. And now that's going to go ahead, and it's going to uh, install the add-on. All right, great. So it has successfully installed uh, Cloud Security add-on for Splunk. We can hit done over here. I can hit refresh over here. And now we have the Cisco Cloud Security add-on for Splunk. So let's click on it. And it's going to ask me to accept the terms of service. I can hit submit on those. And right out of the box, it's going to send me to the inputs page, but you don't really need to configure those individually uh, unless you really want to. You can go to configuration. And in configuration, you just have to put in two things, the your AWS account information, and then ask for the event logs. So let's do that. First of all, I need to put in my AWS account. So just a unique name for this, I can call this uh, uh, Cisco SSC or whatever, uh, I can, I, I need to put in my key ID. I need to put in my secret and I need to put in my region. In my case, US West too. Okay, great. We've created the AWS account. I'm going to go into the event logs, hit add. We're going to give this a name. Let's just call it SSC select the account that we just added in. We need our bucket name. So the full bucket name is going to be Cisco Managed US West 2. The prefix, now the prefix, by the way, is uh, uh, just your specific folder. Um, you can see this is basically your prefix, you know, this alphanumeric stream over here. So we're going to put in the uh, prefix. We're going to put in the prefix, and then it's going to end with the trailing slash. And as you can see, you can either create inputs for all event types or not. If you elect not to, you can configure them separately. It's just easier to say, yeah, I want everything with an interval of 600. We'll put in our index. So I don't want the default index. I created an index for this called SSC. And in my default start date, I'm going to put in my year, uh, month, right, and then day. Cool. Hit add. Great. 
Great. And uh, what this is going to do is uh, it's going to then create the inputs based upon the traffic um, as it's being detected. OK, so if I went to inputs now um, and I just started ingesting information, um, you can see it's already created three of these and it will create the others as needed because they're, as I mentioned, created automatically. You can, of course, uh, deactivate them. You can, of course, change the settings for them. That's completely up to you. But uh, let's go ahead, go to the search menu so that we can see the events as they're flowing in. And you can see I already have events that are coming in, uh, in this case, for uh, DNS. But all the others are going to come in uh, slowly but surely. If we hit uh, a today, then you'll see we have events for all the three inputs that have already been automatically created, right? We've got DNS, uh, audit, and proxy. That's pretty much it. Um, let us know what you think. And uh, hopefully that all made sense. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.